What is going on guys? Mozilla Firefox. Now that is something I want to take a look at today because there is something called Test Pilot. Now Test Pilot, what Test Pilot basically is, is before Firefox releases any new features with their web browser, they release it within an extension called Test Pilot for the users to test out and give give the engineers, the, the creators feedback on whether they like it, whether or not it's fast, optimized properly or whatever. So after I downloaded it, uh, I will provide a link in the description of this video, but it's testpilot.firefox.com. I'm just going to show you guys quickly. And you can just download it. You can add it to your browser. So you can add it to your web browser. And then you get the option of, uh, it says add extension. You just click on add extension and it'll add it. And then you would click on this, which is test pilot. This is the extension. So once you click on the extension, you get a bunch of different things here. Now I'm not going to run through every single thing here because some of them are just kind of, I don't really use them. I don't find the use for them. Uh, some of them I will, um, for instance, activity stream, activity stream, I find it just slows down the whole browser experience. Anytime I open up and I'll give you guys an example. When I open up the web browser, it takes a few seconds to actually load up there and then as you can see there, it's still loading. It's loading the activity stream. So that's really, really slow. I hope they do optimize that better. But basically what activity stream is, it shows you all the recent websites that you visited and it puts them in the priority so that when you open up the web browser, you can just click on that right away. So with Chrome, you have that too when you open it up uh, you, or you can set it to that. I really, again, I don't find the need for it. I just type in my website on the top here. So the next extension within Mozilla Firefox is MinVid. Now MinVid is really cool. And to give you guys an example of what it is, let me go to YouTube. I'll just click on that right there. I'll click on this video. And what this is, you get a, a certain button here that takes your video and it puts it down in a little video. corner. I spoke about the difference. Take that volume down. And now I can move around this thing. So now if I go, if I open any website, it sticks onto the onto the top of the video it, it knows to go on top now another now something I did notice about this is it does lag out a little bit which is that that's another thing that kind of they need to really optimize this because my computer right now I have a core i7 eight gigabytes of RAM I've got I got a pretty decent video card in there the 9 970m 960 970 whatever the case is I have a pretty decent video card pretty decent laptop so it should actually run this thing smoothly but it doesn't so let's close that up there no more 404s basically if you go to a website that that doesn't have um that's not existing anymore it takes you to the to the oldest version that's the sorry the latest version that existed before it went to uh 404 now page shot page shot is a is an interesting feature basically what page shot is is if I wanted to cut out a certain section of this website and post it so that somebody can take a look at it or whatever, this is basically what I do. I would click on these scissors here after I obviously enabled it. So I have that enabled right there. The check mark over there means that it's enabled. And I basically take the scissors, click on it, click on a section there, highlight it. And let's say I want to highlight this area right here. I would click, I would highlight it, click save. And now it would give me a link. And with that link, I can send it to somebody over, over the internet. I would copy this link, send it to somebody on Twitter, DM it to somebody, mess, private message, whatever. And they can click on that link and they can see that picture. And what happens is, is it expires in 14 days. So it's saved. So it is saved, I guess, within the Mozilla Firefox data servers or whatever. And then it will expire within 14 days. So that is really, that is an interesting feature. Now, if you guys didn't know in Windows 10 or even Windows 7, they do have a snip tool. Now this is right here, the snip tool. And if you guys did want to see that out, I do have a tutorial on the snip tool, how to get it on the, on the system tray icon right here, system tray. So if you guys don't want to check that out, I will post a link to that. That's pretty much, this is very useful. It really comes in handy when you copy and paste and you can save the images onto your computer. So that's another, that's another feature, but that is not part of the website. That is part of Windows 10. So that, that is the snip tool. I'm sorry, it's called a make shot. Now let's close that up there. 
Let me show you the next one right here. So Tab Center. Tab Center I haven't enabled yet, but Tab Center does seem like something I would actually use. Let me just enable that and show you guys exactly what it is. So Tab Center takes all my tabs and puts it on the side there. So now if I want to switch from one page to the other, that is really interesting. Instead of having a bunch of tabs on top, that really puts all the tabs on the side there. Now I really think that they should definitely implement this within the next version of Firefox. Again, what I'm using now is test pilot. It is, it is like a beta. It's a beta version that you get to test out before they actually th think of incorporating it into the next version of Firefox. I like to have that on the side there. Um, let's go to another one quickly. So that, that again was tab center. Now tracking protection. Now I'm not sure how, actu how this actually works and if it actually stops tracking, but if you guys our Facebook users or if you go on YouTube they know that the website that you visited before and the website the few websites you even go to after they have it they have it and they sort of track you they put tracking cookies on you and the reason they do this is for marketing they need to you know they want to know what websites their people are going on so they actually have YouTube sites like YouTube Facebook they have tracking cookies now what this is basically it stops the tracking. This is what at least it says it does. So again, I can't really vouch for this, how safe it actually is or if it actually works, but that's tracking protection. It gives you, it stops, it stops the tracking from a lot of the websites. So again, these are just some features that if you are looking, if you are looking to test out some interesting features. I definitely hope they optimize this because it is again it is a little bit slow especially with the with the minvid and what was it the activity stream. So the last one here is universal search. So universal search. Universal search already is implemented in Chrome and Google Chrome so I already use that. But let's go ahead and enable it just to show you guys. Basically when you type in something here in the address bar it it already searches for certain things. It adds into the search bar things that were previously searched or things that match up to, to what you're searching for. So again, Chrome already has that. I just type in something and it gives me little results over there as you guys can see. So that's definitely, that that is for sure gonna be implemented within the next version of Firefox. I'm actually surprised they don't have it yet. So that is universal search. Otherwise guys, that is pretty much gonna be it for this video. Um, overall, I think that Mozilla is a good web browser. It's definitely, they have a lot of extensions just like Chrome. Definitely beats um, Microsoft Edge. If I had to choose between the two, Microsoft Edge and, and Firefox, I would definitely go for Firefox. I know that before Chrome, Firefox was really popular until Chrome came along and really took them over. Another good browser that uh, I, I like to use is Opera, but sometimes it's very limiting. Anyway, Again, that is going to be it for this video. If you guys did find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.